I'm Ellie Kent and I'm a project officer for the Back on a Map project, which aims to reinforce and reintroduce 12 species into Morecambe Bay and South Cumbria. One of the species I've been working on recently is the small blue butterfly, which has unfortunately seen a 44% decline in its distribution across the UK since the 1970s. There are many reasons for this, including habitat fragmentation and overgrazing, but also reduction in the small blue butterfly's larval food plant, which is kidney veg, and this is the one and only food source for the caterpillars of the small blue butterfly. Guinea vetch tends to grow on coastal areas and sand dunes, but also in post-industrial landfill, landfill and brownfield sites, which are nearly always first on the list for development. And this development has dramatic effects on the small, small blue butterfly population. What we hope to do is to reintroduce this butterfly into areas where it belongs, but also where it's been missing from the Cumbrian landscape. Ferris Slag Banks currently has a really healthy population of small blue butterfly, and together with butterfly conservation, we hope to reinforce the population here through habitat management works. When Small Blue arrived at Barrow Slagbanks, they were relocated from Workington, uh, just adjacent to Workington Railway Station, where the, uh, the car park was being extended over a, uh, an area of uh, Small Blue. So they were rescued and relocated to the slag banks about five years ago and within a year or two they'd spread pretty much all over the slag banks because um, the kidney vetch there was already so well established. Mergers usually the second or third week of May and Barris slag banks are usually on the wing in quite good numbers late May reaching a peak end of May first few days of June and then they'll fly throughout most of June but the numbers usually then start to, uh, to slip away a little bit because it's a great place for small blue and it's actually a brilliant place for common blue, dingy skipper, they're wall brown there, there are lots of things, it's, it's a super super site. And some of the best sites on the west coast have been sort of brownfield post-industrial sites, haven't they? That's Where... right. These brownfield sites, wonderful, because the conditions are so poor that the kidney vetch flourishes. Yeah. And, and these are fantastic sites for uh, for the small blue. There are a number of these little colonies all the way from St. Bees up to Whitehaven. Then there are a number of bigger colonies and some really strong colonies. Some of them, though, have been lost because of all the development that's taken place in the Whitehaven, Workington area in particular. We want to thin areas of dense scrub, but also create scrapes and buns, which are sheltered areas with patches of bare ground where we can plant kidney vetch seed and plugs into. If this proves successful um, and we see an increase in a small blue butterfly population, we hope to do translocation of adult butterflies into other areas of suitable habitat, hoping to create lots of little self-sustaining populations of small blue that are all connected. The main area we're hoping to do this is at Hobbaro Nature Reserve and although the translocation may be a few years into the future, we are already working with RSPB to make it a perfect site for the small blue butterfly. I'm absolutely delighted that Boom are involved with the small blue as well as with uh, the Duke. Um, it really can make a big difference you know if we can secure populations in South Cumbria Cumbria then will have some of the key populations in the UK if you or anyone you know knows of areas of big patches of kidney vetch where we can collect some local seed or if you're happy to volunteer or just want to ask us any questions then please don't hesitate to get in touch and I look forward to hearing